Shabbat Shalom. Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Saturday, number 18 day for this month of February 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel. I am the Deputy Defense Chief and the Anti-Kidnapping Czar of the Ambazonian Defense Forces, the ADF, and the spokesperson of the Ambazonian Governing Council, the AGOFC, aka Sense Pass King, Lukong, Ambazonian FBI, Wuna Own Countryman. Wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program where they bring Wuna the truth, where they bring Wuna meaningful information, fact based analysis for help we as we the worker for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. For a title for this episode for today, we go put and send a statement. Then talk say, there is no need to call somebody a fool because by their own mob, they will make themselves known as fools. That one it being as a result of an interview where the BBC either approached me, your spokesman, say so I can make a comment on an interview with Ngiam for somewhere Ikome Sako. Sako Ikome, that the former IG representative for Siseko, where Siseko he be fire he, be he see represent itself like a, he own IG head. So that one, we go come back for that one later. But first, fellow Ambazonian, as we be done, inform our people them. Say any man where he go enable Cameroon colonialism and terrorism activity in Ambazonia, he, he go remain, he go get consequences and he do them at his own personal risk. One of those fly them where they need to hear advice, where they don't follow the cops to the grave. Now one teacher, where they call a primary school teacher, where he named na Betang somewhere, he, he no be hear the order, he no be stand with Ambazonia for protect the interests of the public, but he be go along for go participate for La Republic to Cameroon, they are banned 11 February, where they call us in a youth day, when an insult to the Ambazonian people during a time of war. Would I hear say this teacher, he done, he, he done meet up his own water law. He done be neutralized. The circumstances are not clear. But it be as a result of he go taking part in Cameroon. They are organized 11 February. Any man where he not hear Kong, he go hear na book. The state of Cameroon, he be responsible for the slaughter of over 30,000 and more of our innocent civilian. Any person where if he say if he ignore the death of our people them for partner with La Republic to Cameroon for your own personal benefit, he never yet know the times of this day. We are at war. Enablers will have consequences. Black legs and all those who associate themselves with the Cameroon government or seeks to legitimize Cameroon government activities in Cameroon are doing so at their own risk. It's just a matter of time. 99 days for a thief, one day your day will come. Would he ask information for the general public? If you know any person who will be take part for this 11, 11 February Youth Day, please contact us to provide the details, including evidence, and also the address of the person and the movements them, so that we will pass down that information. May action be taken for protect the interests of the general public. While Ambazonia did continue the offensive against the Cameroon occupation, would they get good news where they come from the great state of Boyo? But first, would one for tell not to say yesterday, we'll get two successful IED operations, one for Insa Bamenda, for New Church, he neutralized two Cameroon their occupation forces, and one, it take place for Insa Ngembo, who will target La Republic, their military checkpoint for the, we also neutralized two of them. For Insa, the great state of Boyo, Good news to come as the Ambazonian forces them for the, the United Forces of Boyo will be made up of the new the forces the way they under General Nhi, where they then come together with the forces of General Gola. If you not remember General Gola na will be the second in command for the British Southern Cameroon resistance forces, they be then command them under RK so that they work now with their brother them. And all of the forces the way they then for Boyo, they then come together na where they call them say the United Forces of Boyo. Currently, they are not engaged in any, they are not under any political structure that we know of or have not paid any political allegiance, but they are wa working wonderfully and they are doing a wonderful job. 
they have been very open to advice and we want to congratulate them for the wonderful job they have done today in the great state of Boyo, neutralizing three Cameroon terrorist forces, recovering three of their weapons and a vehicle seized from the Cameroon occupation forces. Today, today is the 16th of February, 2023. Uh, these are the forces of Boyo, the joint forces of Boyo that went to a battle today and took away this, um, this locks and three guns with their cap. We can see, we can all see their plane number. They removed the plane number before coming to Boyo, but they didn't, they, they didn't know that we were wiser than them. So they had to run away, abandon their cap, some of them did. So the joint forces of Boyo, were, the joint forces of Boyo, they released a video of this attack. We want to congratulate them. Cameroon military are falling. It has been a great month for Ambazonia. We are winning and we are winning fatly. Fellow Ambazonian, would you also want to remind our people them, say Brazzaris drink, it and be banned. Make no money, no sell them for your off license and any off license where they sell Brazzaris product for inside Ambazonia, me then destroy them or me then use them for that area, then seize them with power, then destroy them. Or then call our forces, then me then take action, especially for their distributors and actions it be needed to be taken. You know, be very surprised. Say two days ago, our forces them for around eleven o'clock, they ambush a La Republic du Cameroon convoy. We be the transport Brazzaris ban group them contraband from inside Douala for bring them for inside uh, the Atlantic stake for Kumba for Balangi neutralizing B. Now the Cameroon elite force, not be even their police or their gendarme, their most elite force. Now they, they protect the Brazzaris. This one in the show we say this Brazzaris will the same more than Banam. Now the real colonizer them, now the real power beneath, beneath the power where they, they govern with Ambazonia. As soon as they see the infighting for La Republic, their government against a faction led by Ferdinand Gongo. In the show we say this faction for Ferdinand Gongo, they be very strong. Now the same thing with other African countries, the way the French government they, they control them, they get this same problem. You get big, big company them where they did like Boulois, the other one uh, Ezekam, all this network of undercover French policy them for Africa. Now then they will now they really control our territory. They don't hand CDC for them, the one for sell CDC for them. They don't sell our tea factory them for them and all Amazonian company them. They did transit them for hand them over for this company them. Now the one in that way now they get the real colonization for africa the real exploitation they be done by this group of individual them when they be toxic they do privatization they be basically hand over our resources them but this individual the way they manage this company them on behalf of the politician the way that they control the government the government for cameroon not just a protection for this coming the way they go on for exploit our resources them would you also know say guinness we be be na a company for we be be registered for Southern Cameroon for Ambazonia. It am it be be transferred from Ambazonia to La Republic from Victoria to Douala. No be say the Guinness it be be na our state company. Be 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 na a company we be be pure just for economic reasons them. It no be be na a thing we be be for exploit we and their product them. It be be met with international standard we no be poison. They don't carry and go to now for Douala and they want sell them now completely for brasseries so the brasseries they come in with poison because the people the way they did for these brasseries now the people the way they did for their society them for friends for francs now the people in that way now they be the real vampire them now the people in that way they, they promote the hidden agenda for assimilation now why that way for the management for even the brasseries you know get no person where you come off for ambazonia where you work for day now a pure company where in their advertisement they, they pollute our cities with drug for the for give a delusion for our people them why the suffering and the death they go as a result of poverty where they suck away all of our product so nera also the board of directors are all people who are involved in this high connection these are the government below the government so our ban against brasseries for target specific company them where they be involved for predatory economic activity them for our country it be very important make our people they know say not just be so the target now all company then generally but we strategically target company them so make wanna stay away from this company the way now blood suckers them for africa 
their products and be poisoned with agents them where they target our fertility our manhood our ability for think they, they put substances them for inside their product them where they promote alcoholism it promote laziness and i said they don't take them for dominate plenty country them across the globe they would also hear say the so-called project where they want for can develop victoria seaport now it means for start a project and abandon them halfway in the initial stages would i hear say Alfred Seca Monument for inside Victoria it be targeted for demolition with plenty housing for Down Beach where it be now the trademark for Ambazonian prosperity and the heritage of our former historic ties with the British government. The one come for come wipe out all those monuments them while maintaining their own links with France for inside their own country because the history it be very important for a people for them for know who way them be. Our ties with, with, with the British our heritage with Afreseka, it be unique and it be very tight to our identity as Ambazonians. They do want for come for destroy them using this same company them. So they do want can develop our seaport. We will not send a dead project. We we'll continue for use deception like they don't promise the Bamenda airport. They don't promise the ring road, but then they have for kill and for destroy. The CDC where they detox it with the attack them today. Now a company with them says they don't take them, then destroy them. Because their intention now for exploit our people, exploit our resources in a predatory manner. It's time not time for war, not time for sacrifices. There is a time for build, there is a time for destroy. This time now a time we will need for stop every export into La Republic. Destroy every critical infrastructure where they give them cash crop for their export market. Because now that their international links where they provide them a cover both for protect their wealth and for maintain them in power now they keep them give them the ability for whole ambazonia as a captured people these links we must cut fellow ambazonians as the old saying it always talk tico drink kumba drunk monkey the walk baboon it chop but for this new era for the new generation of ambazonia we are more smarter than our ancestors and we are doing things more better and those who seek to exploit the old ways are soon finding their water low. This one is the main topic we will be talking for the beginning of this podcast for today. We will talk about an interview with BBC Dan Senna for me. The one for getting my reaction and then provide them. We will see the publication of it as well. For this interview, Sako Ikome will be interviewed by the BBC. Strangely, why they go push you go time for day for go give you this interview, we don't know. Because the leading Ambazonian group them, where they engage with the international community, are the recognized representative of our state. Anyway, this interview idam also proof and for sure the Sako Ikome, and I hope it will help some of those who are confused with Cameroon propaganda to know the difference, for know the difference between Kaki and Leta. Despite the fact that Sako Ikome idam be fired for embezzlement on corruption for my trip to Boya and the killing of Ambazonian fighters, in particularly the killing of 39 Ambazonian fighters in Bui State, he has been told exactly who he is. He is just one of the leaders of the Ambazonian groups and he is not the recognized one and his so-called claim to be a so-called president is not recognized by the other Ambazonian leaders neither does the world see him as such. Listen to how he is introduced by the BBC journalist. Cameroonian politics. There's also dismay over the apparent collapse of a potential path to peace. Last month, Canada said it'd be mediating between Cameroon's government and several Anglophone movements, only for Yaoundé to reject this shortly afterwards. Well, Samuel Ikomiseko is a major figure among the separatists. He sees himself as the leader of the internationally unrecognized Ambazonia state, though in the divided and divisive world of separatist politics, this is rejected by others. So, when I hear very clearly, this one, a BBC, international journalists talk whether it will mean something for my own country, people, them. They the talk saying that Sako DC is like a the leader. Now, Sako DC is like president. He does not represent an organization that is a constituted body. His organization is on paper. He has been fired and he sees himself as the leader. It is not that he is a leader. It's just that he sees himself as one. A claim that has been stated by the BBC journalists that have been rejected. But Yaoundé to reject this shortly afterwards. 
Well, Samuel Ikoni Seppo is a major figure among the separatists. He sees himself as the leader of the internationally unrecognized Ambazonia state, though in the divided and divisive world of separatist politics, this is rejected by others. So, Sako have taken his madness internationally and make himself look like a fool. It is unethical for me for Gifun at a full discussion with the BBC journalist we seek for, uh, for a comment from me. But definitely the facts of Sako, you could even question the facts of Paul Beer authorized negotiation for Canada. It will make it look like a clown. Everybody know, say Canada, now a credible government for the head of the foreign affairs for Canada, their minister of foreign affairs, for announced an engagement and commitment from the Cameroon government. It means it is credible and it is a fact for Sako Ekome to think that this was some type of a fake negotiation that did not involve the Cameroon state really makes him look like a fool. It goes without saying. My conversation with this journalist is really interesting. Oh, cannot self-elect. The parties involved in the conflict should elect a mediator. They should endorse a mediator to be one. Apparently, the way things have turned out, Cameroon is saying that they did not give Canada the money to negate. So, Sako Ikome, the talk for the international press, say a mediator, a facilitator, enough he choose itself, not the party to the conflict, it is choosy. So, Cameroon, enough choose Canada. It look like Sako is the spokesman of Cameroon government, speaking about what Cameroon have done, what Cameroon have not done. This is what we know. The Canadian government have announced through their Minister of Foreign Affairs, one of their biggest policy speakers for the international community, say the Cameroon government, the state of Cameroon, have committed for a negotiated process with Ambazonia. The Cameroon represented by the Cameroon government, Ambazonia represented by the legitimate movement, the most consequential movement of Ambazonia leading blocs. These are facts. Federal Ambazonian, before a ball would before people did come for tell me say this Sako is irrelevant, we should leave him where he is. I want for let Una know. Say before Canada, a very big country in the world, consider as the leading countries internationally in international politics, come out to put out the word. It is a very serious matter. It shows that the leaders who are there, the movements who are there, are the recognized movements that are legitimate organize and have constituency to represent our country and our state in a credible manner the people who are not ignored were not invited there is an indication that they are not seen as party to the conflict or consequential enough or significant enough or credible enough to be able to represent the state of ambazonia at this level let it be known to you today the cameroon government state authorized by their head of state paul Bia, have committed to a negotiated uh, negotiated framework in Canada. Paul Bia was involved, his government was engaged and involved, and they have committed. Ambazonian was involved and represented, and they have committed. This is unprecedented. This is huge. This is historic. This is gigantic. This is a fat victory for Ambazonia, and you should take pride in it. Let nobody deceive you or take away the pride in you. It's like a lion with a meat in the mouth and somebody wants to deceive you to remove it. Even if the negotiation process is stored, even if it is destroyed, whatever happened, history will know and history have recorded that for the first time in our lifetime, Cameroon, the government of Cameroon, have sat on the table with Ambazonia on the other side of the table, carrying their flag recognizing us as an international entity, negotiating with us in front of the international community, in front of the United Nations, in front of the United Nations representative that is properly mandated, and the international community that was represented by multiple parties and the Canadian government mediating. This pretox is a reality, and anybody who carries this madness to go and try to confront the international community is seen as a madman. Trust me, that is how he is seen. But we must remain focused to bring our people together to be able to speak with one voice. Chris Anno seems to be getting the memo and we hope that everybody in Ambazonia will come together, support leading movement 
we cannot fight as an army of 10,000 leaders. We must come around credible, properly constituted bodies that are involved in the prosecution of our liberation internationally and domestically. Not people who want to be, not people who are waiting for others to fight for them to come and take over, not others who just want position, but get involved in the actual fighting. Support real and tangible effort to free our country. This is war. This is not a joke. This is not politics. The life of our people are in the balance. Our people in the diaspora are sleepless. Our refugees, our political prisoners are counting on us to free our homeland. Let the wicked black man syndrome of envy, jealousy, wickedness do not hold us back. Let us overcome our ego and accept the reality in front of us. Let us accept the Moses that God has given to us. It is up to us how fast we want to get to Boya. There is no alternative to leadership that have been seen. Nobody can reverse the time of the hand of time. For the past five years, we know who is who, who can do what. We know who is dedicated and who is committed. We know who is a patriot and who is not. We know who is susceptible to bribery and corruption and we know who is not. We know who is well articulated and bold and courageous and we know who is not. We must all come as one man, align ourselves for effectiveness and put out our best team for us to win the game. Let us, let us not repeat the history of Africa. They say African have the best players but they have the worst team. That is why they are unable to take European uh, International Football World Cup. We, as Ambazonians, we have the best of the best mind. Our ability to come together, to pass the ball amongst ourselves, to make sure that the striker can receive the ball at the right time and make the goal for the whole team to see collective victory in whatever we do is crucial. If we are whole hostage and taken hostage by a person, and we put a person in the field, then we have ourselves to be blamed. We must make sure that we fight so hard that our team will be properly constituted by the best player. Any player that is a reserve player should remain in the reverse bench. Reverse bench. Those who are coached should remain in the grandstand and clap for the players that are playing in the field. Do not try to replace a player because you want to play. Put a player because that player can play very well. That is how you win a match. Do not put a person. A person who have taken bribe, if you put a person, he will receive goal in our pool. We must be able to put the right players. We must be able to allow the right coach and let all of us sit in the grandstand and clap for them and take the glory because that is just how it is meant to be. Capo Daniel, signing off.